It's no secret that crypto markets have exploded in 2021. I'm sure many of you know someone who's ridden the likes of Dogecoin and made some insane gains. Indeed, you could have almost thrown a dart at CoinGecko earlier in the year, bought that crypto, and the chances are you're now up some crazy multiple. Yes, all that is super exciting, and most of us are spending an inordinate amount of time refreshing our block folios to check how rich we are. Admit it, I've called you out on that one, eh? However, there is one thing that most crypto holders have forgotten about, and that would be their crypto cash out strategy. No, I'm not talking about which exchange to use to crystallize those gains. I'm talking about the best places to live to cash out crypto. Now, conventional wisdom would say there are two certainties in life, death and taxes. However, the truth is that there are many countries in the world that you could move to and pay little or no crypto taxes at all. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the top 10 countries where you could be paying little to no tax on your crypto profits. I'll also be weighing in on the livability and infrastructure of each option to help you find your ideal crypto El Dorado. So be sure to stick around. Before I jump into this, I do need to level with you. Many years ago, I was faced with an awful dilemma. Do I try to have fun and become a bit of a crypto captain here on YouTube? Or should I retrain to become some sort of boring international tax planner? As you guessed, I opted for the former and skipped those lessons at the Institute of International Tax Planning. That means I am not a financial or tax advisor and that nothing in this video should be considered investment advice. Now, with that letdown out of the way, I want to welcome anyone new to the Bureau. My channel is stuffed full of top-notch crypto content. That includes analysis, reviews, and even my very own weekly news show. Now, if you think that sounds intriguing, then you'll definitely want to join Team Coin Bureau by smashing that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ping that little bell. That way, you'll be the first to know whenever I release another video. One more thing. Behold, the timestamps I've popped in the timeline. If you're strapped for time, then you'll want to use them to skip ahead to the country that interests you the most. Conquistadors, are you ready to join me in the hunt for crypto El Dorado? To kick things off, I need to let you know that tax rules around the world differ from country to country. It isn't always as simple as just jumping on the next flight, landing and selling all that crypto to get tax-free gains. Yes, there are lots of pretty mind-numbing intricacies which will vary depending on the country you're residing in right now. However, for most people in the world, tax is basically determined by two things. Your resident status, which is the country where you live, work and pay your taxes, and your domicile status. This is the country that a person officially has as their permanent home. This can have an impact on things like inheritance tax. As a general rule of thumb, if you are a non-resident individual for a certain period of time, you usually won't be liable for capital gains tax and income tax generated overseas. For a lot of people, that money should fall outside of the scope of the government of the country you're living in right now. So yes, there really is a way for you to enjoy tax-free crypto gains. However, here's the deal. A residency permit for a zero-tax country isn't usually enough to secure those sweet tax benefits by itself. You are going to have to actually move abroad. This is why you really need to pick your crypto tax haven wisely. But what else do you need to know? Well, many of you will already be aware that crypto trades attract capital gains tax in most countries. However, income tax may be an important consideration for traders as some governments have decided that regular trading should be taxed as income. Yep. It doesn't make too much sense if you ask me, but it is what it is. Oh yes, one more thing you need to be aware of. For many people, there is little you can do about the gains you've made already. In all likelihood, you are just going to have to swallow the pill and cough up that tax money. However, with careful planning, it is entirely possible for you to get tax-free crypto gains for the rest of this bull market or set yourself up for the next one. Really, guys, if you are ever going to invest money in a financial advisor, I actually think it is well worth speaking to an international tax chap if you're serious about crypto and the long-term potential of these markets. 
Although I might be a walking encyclopedia of crypto knowledge, it's simply impossible for me to know the ins and outs of all the different tax rules of every country. Also, I'm sure if I made a 22-hour video on tax planning, you wouldn't thank me for it. So, with all of that out of the way, it's time for me to dive into the countries on my list. These are ordered according to the affordability of getting your residency and living there. First up, I have Vanuatu. Yes, I know that most people would struggle to point out this country on a map. But this archipelago of 83 islands off the coast of Australia is home to 0% capital gains tax rates. It has no income or corporate tax either. So the kind of place that you consider if you wanted to keep all those crypto gains for yourself. Here's another fun fact. Vanuatu is the only country in the world that accepts Bitcoin payment in exchange for citizenship. Essentially, the government over there offers the opportunity to get a Vanuatu passport for crypto investors, which is valid for five years. Yes, those tax benefits sound amazing, but where would you actually live in Vanuatu? Well, I'm assuming that you don't want to be like that chap in Castaway living on a beach with only your laptop and Binance account to protect you from the elements. If you moved here, then you would probably most likely end up in the capital, Port Vila. However, this city only has a population of around 50,000 people, so it's not exactly a bustling metropolis, and you definitely shouldn't be expecting to be able to pop into high-end designer shops or a cheeky Nobu. That being said, if you love hiking and nature, then Port Vila can provide you access to all that in spades. When it comes to the cost of living, Vanuatu is actually 5% more expensive than living in Brussels. So yes, not exactly super cheap, but then again, pretty much everything here does need to be imported from the likes of Australia. When it comes to crime, the worry of physical violence is pretty low here. However, there are certainly concerns when it comes to getting your sick crypto pad broken into and having stuff nicked. So, that means if you want to hang out in Vanuatu, it's probably a good idea to invest in some home security. When it comes to obtaining residency in Vanuatu, you can do that in two main ways. The first is to get it via banking. All that requires is a Vanuatu bank certifying your ability to deposit 250,000 Vanuatu Vatu a month, about 2.3k US dollars. Or you could invest 10 million Vatu into a local investment opportunity and get that residency for as long as your money is invested. Infrastructure-wise, you probably don't want to be trucking around in the latest supercar. There simply aren't very many paved roads here at all. Also, those internet speeds are frankly awful. However, in terms of weather, Vanuatu is almost perfect for an Englishman like me, with yearly lows of about 19 degrees and highs of about 29. Now, I know that most crypto investors have their sights on those Lamborghinis. However, you will struggle to find one in Vanuatu. Your closest Lambo dealer here would be in Brisbane. So, Quite the trip if you really want to get your hands on one of those and razz it round on those dirt roads. For my second crypto safe haven, we are hopping over to Costa Rica. There is no capital gains tax in Costa Rica except for habitual gains like property. So yes, you can trade crypto to your heart's content here while avoiding that tax man. But how is Costa Rica when it comes to livability? Well, it has around the same peacefulness rating as Italy and is actually a better place to live compared to the UK. But where exactly in Costa Rica would you live? Well, chances are that most crypto refugees would end up in the capital, San Jose. Yes, it's not a megacity, but its population of over 1 million people means there is some pretty solid nightlife going on to help you spend your crypto millions. It also turns out that Costa Rica is one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. So if you like nature, sun, beach and sand, then this is definitely a place to pop on your shortlist. Another cool thing about Costa Rica is that it's a damn affordable place to live too. A single person can live pretty comfortably on just one and a half thousand dollars a month, making this one of the most affordable places for crypto nomads to move to. Unlike Vanuatu, Costa Rica has actually got decent internet infrastructure with average download speeds clocking in at about 30 megabytes per second. But what about the weather over there? Well, Costa Rica has two distinct wet and dry seasons. However, temperatures range from around 18 to 27 degrees, a pretty comfortable range if you ask me. Sadly, there are no Lambo dealerships in Costa Rica at all. Now, I know that's infuriating for crypto millionaires. But if that is you, then you'll be forced to hit up Mexico City to get your hands on that brand spanking new Huracan. 
My next place to cash out those crypto gains is one for US citizens, and that is Puerto Rico. Essentially, US citizens get taxed by Uncle Sam wherever they are in the world. However, if you were to move to Puerto Rico, you'd be able to legally pay 0% capital gains tax. That being said, be prepared to pay for that privilege as living costs in America's tax haven have gone through the roof in recent years. The reason why is that there is a bona fide residency requirement to buy a home within two years under Act 60 2019, and that has meant real estate prices have exploded over there. What that means is, unless they're whales, Americans thinking about moving to Puerto Rico might have to time the crypto markets well and bag those gains within two years in order to get that house. The good news is that the island is actually pretty affordable, with a single person being able to be comfortable on less than $2,000 a month. So yes, that should be more than doable for those hodlers out there waiting for their coins to pull a legendary 100x. But how is life in Puerto Rico? Well, honestly, the capital, San Juan, is home to a bunch of boutiques and outlets. Of course, there are some of the best beaches in the world here as well. So a little something for everyone. When it comes to internet speeds, I would say they are just about manageable with an average download speed clocking in at about 25 megabytes per second. However, crypto YouTubers like me probably couldn't put up with the miserly three megabytes average upload speed. When it comes to crime, Puerto Rico actually has lower incidences of crime than most major US cities. For those crypto ballers out there, there is another reason to be based in San Juan. Yep, this tax haven does actually have a Lambo dealer in the capital to serve crypto millionaires. My next place to live for crypto refugees is Portugal. This is certainly an option that should be considered by anyone currently living in a high-tax EU country. Put simply, trading and transacting crypto is tax-free for individuals. There's also no tax on exchanging crypto for regular currency, and no income tax or capital gains on the profits from trading crypto. It also turns out that crime rates are generally low too. That means that all that stuff you're splashing your cash on is pretty safe. If nightlife and beaches are what you're looking for, then you'll probably want to hit up Albufeira. There is no end of fancy clubs and bars over there, and the beaches are awesome too. Maybe this crypto guy might have popped over there in his youth for the occasional lad's holiday. But what about the cost of living? Well, you can expect to fork out around $2,200 a month to be comfortable over in Portugal, which seems relatively affordable considering that's around the same cost as the rent for my studio flat in London. When it comes to residency, if you're currently living in an EU country, then that is pretty damn easy given the freedom of movement between EU member states. However, those outside of Europe can get residency here by investing €350,000 in property, venture capital funds, or businesses in the country. What's incredible is that people taking up this golden visa program only need to spend seven days of the year in Portugal, meaning that there's a possibility you wouldn't need to relocate to avoid those crypto taxes. That being said, I would urge you to check with a real financial advisor to check what the rules are in the country you're based in right now. When it comes to internet infrastructure, Portugal is pretty amazing with blistering speeds of up to one gigabyte per second being available. Now, I don't think I need to say much about the weather in Portugal. It can be summed up in one word. Brilliant. Portugal even has a Lambo dealer in Lisbon, which will happily relieve you of those crypto gains. But what if Portugal isn't an exotic enough location? Well, you could head on over to Malaysia. There's no tax on long-term capital gains, which also applies to crypto investments. Oh yes, VAT is also not applied to crypto trading. The one thing to note here is that if you're actually running a crypto trading business, then taxes will be payable as business income tax. So yes, some of you might want to watch out for that one. Now, Malaysia itself is a relatively safe place to live. It also turns out that a couple can be comfortable on just $2,500 a month. So yes, very affordable indeed. Now, I actually visited Malaysia's capital, Kuala Lumpur, a while ago, and I can tell you there is a heck of a lot of stuff to do out there. Also, I might add that many of my friends have the impression that KL is some distant backwater. Well, not at all. I would argue that in many ways it's more advanced than London. Probably the easiest way to get residents in Malaysia is using their MM2H program. 
This gives you a 10-year multiple entry visa and you can bring children with you if they're under 21 and even your parents on six-month renewable visas. So yes, this is one for future crypto millionaires with families for sure. On top of all that, any money you bring into the country is tax exempt. To qualify, you just need to have a monthly income of $2,500 and be able to pay a fixed deposit into a bank. That's around $75,000 if you're under 50. Yes, I know that sounds pricey. However, if you have a big family, then the cost per person can work out as relatively affordable indeed. In terms of internet infrastructure, Malaysia clocks in at an average download speed of around 24 megabytes, speeds that are more than good enough for most of us. When it comes to weather, Malaysia actually has two monsoon seasons a year and it is pretty hot and humid all year round. So if you don't do well with humidity, then this probably won't be the ideal location for you. But what about that all-important Lambo dealership? Well, it turns out that those Lambo dreams can come true in Kuala Lumpur too. Phew. Now, I know that Southeast Asia may not be for everyone. So you might be interested in one of the top destinations for crypto go-getters, and that would be Dubai. Here, there is no income tax and no capital gains tax. Also, Dubai is pretty damn livable too. I mean, pretty much any restaurant you can think of is over there. Think Nobu, Hakkasan, Zuma, and all that good stuff. Turns out it's also the land of sports cars, luxury apartments, and yachts. So yes, the kind of playground that crypto millionaires can ball about in in style. In terms of safety, Dubai ranks up there as one of the safest places in the world. Now, apparently, you can even reserve your seat with your phone while you pop off to the loo. And if that isn't civilization's apex, I don't know what is. Living modestly in Dubai is relatively affordable too, sitting at around $2,500 a month. That can, of course, scale up very fast if you want to really live like a crypto millionaire. When it comes to visas, the most affordable way is probably setting up a company over there and employing yourself as a crypto trader. That's probably going to cost you around $20,000 in total. But in return, you get access to one of the most fun places to live. In terms of internet speeds, Dubai ranks favorably compared to all the other countries mentioned so far. The weather is also super nice. However, in July and August, temperatures can hit 45 degrees Celsius, and that's when most expats take their vacations. So if you don't tolerate heat so well and don't like the idea of living in air-conditioned places for a few months of the year, then you might want to consider alternatives to Dubai. Finally, given that Dubai is the home of supercars, there is naturally a local Lambo dealer here to drop a few bitcoins on. But maybe you want an alternative European location to pit against Portugal. If that's the case, then you need to take a look at Malta. On the tax front, the problem here is that if you day trade crypto, you will be taxed like if you traded the stock market. That will basically attract a taxation rate of 35%. However, long-term holders won't get capital gains taxes applied on the sale or purchase of cryptocurrencies. So yes, Malta is an option for hodlers and one for traders to avoid. To get a residency visa, EU nationals simply need to prove they're financially stable or employed. Non-EU nationals are approved at the discretion of the Maltese authorities. So yes, this is probably only a viable option for those currently based in the EU. Now, the cost of living in Malta is a bit more expensive than other options on this list, with a single person expecting to shell out around €2,500 a month to live reasonably comfortably. However, when I went to Malta, it was a great place to chill out, but I imagine that many of you could find it quite boring to live there long term. However, internet speeds are some of the fastest in the world here. Also, the weather is pretty phenomenal, with lows of 16 degrees and highs of 32. Oh yes, in terms of that all-important Lambo dealership, I'm afraid to say that the nearest one is in Athens, Greece. So, a bit of a letdown for those hoping to get their hands on a brand spanking new one. My eighth best place to live for future crypto millionaires is Switzerland. In short, crypto that is traded and held by an individual here is not subject to capital gains tax. So, perfect for crypto dabblers. However, residency is a bit of a stumbling block for most people. You essentially need to be under 55 years of age and invest a minimum of 1 million Swiss francs in a business that benefits Switzerland. That's about 1.2 million US dollars. 
Yes, Switzerland is super safe. There are quite a few things to do here. However, the cost of living is frankly one of the highest in the world. That being said, you will get access to great infrastructure and it's certainly the type of place for those that like to see the seasons roll by, skiing in the winter and mountain biking in the summer. And in case you wondered, there is indeed a Lambo dealership along with a bucket load of opportunities to get that high-end watch you've long been wishing for. Next, I want to fly back over to Asia and tell you about one of the most exciting places to live in the world, and that would be Singapore. There is no capital gains tax here whatsoever, so you can do all that crypto trading without the curious taxman getting in your way. But here's the deal. Singapore residency is damn hard to get, and I somehow doubt those chaps will accept crypto trader as a job description. That means that the only surefire way to get residency here is to invest two and a half million Singaporean dollars, which is residency by investment. That's about 1.9 million USD, a princely sum indeed. However, Singapore is literally one of the safest places in the world. They also have lightning fast internet connections, top notch restaurants, and pretty much the best of everything. Indeed, after popping there a few years ago, I felt like I'd stepped back 15 years into the past when I returned home to London. One thing to note here is that it's quite humid in Singapore, but then again, if you're rocking around in that Lambo that you picked up from the Singaporean dealership, then I'm not sure you'll really notice that. The final country that crypto guys should consider living in is Bermuda. Here, there is absolutely no personal tax whatsoever and no taxes associated with trading crypto. The Bermudan government has even gone a step further by being the first government to accept taxes in any recognized cryptocurrency. Pretty cool. Yes, you could get a Bermudan residence permit for one year pretty damn cheaply. However, let's face it, it's hard to time those markets. So if you really want to keep those crypto gains away from the tax man, you're probably going to have to get yourself a longer term solution. And that would be by using Bermuda's residency by investment program. Here's the thing though, you'll need an eye-watering $2.5 million and to invest that in Bermudan real estate, government bonds, a government fund, or by donating all that dosh to a local charity. This makes Bermuda by far the most expensive option on this list. That being said, Bermuda is incredibly safe and has very good internet speeds. The problem is that the island only has a population of 64,000 people, and let's just say there's not too much going on over there. Sure, that's no problem if you just want to chill out, but I'd personally get bored there pretty quickly. In terms of weather, Bermuda has lows of 21 degrees and highs of 30, so right in the sweet spot if you ask me. Another major drawback for crypto wizards is that there is no Lambo dealer to speak of. A bit of a bummer. Now that's about all I have time for today. However, I do want to share a few closing thoughts. Yes, I know that moving to a country for tax purposes is not everyone's cup of tea, and that many of the countries I've mentioned need a great deal of planning to get a residence there. However, where do you think crypto is going long term, and are you going to be in these markets for the next market cycle? If the answer is yes, then you probably want to consider your options and plan ahead to make sure you maximize the best you can. Now it's time to hear your thoughts. What country do you think is best to bank those crypto gains in? Have you got any questions? While you're beavering away in the comments section, I need to let you know about my socials page. Click that link in the description and you'll find out where my official Instagram, Twitter and TikToks are. You'll also find the link to my weekly email newsletter. And this is my once weekly window on the crypto world where I share hints, tips and my personal portfolio. That's all in the top link of the description. Finally, if you found this video interesting, then give this crypto chap a pat on the back by slapping that like button. If you really like my content, then don't forget to subscribe and ping that little bell. I'll see you all very soon.